What's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today has been long awaiting for. Today, we're building the engine. I've gotten everything situated. We've got everything laid out. Preliminary rotors are packed with new oil control rings and seals. Got all of this ready to go. Got the good old Vaseline. So, we are ready to go back together. We have this going on. Some seals, got all the hardware. Got some help. <laughs> so, and we're building engines today. It is snowing like crazy outside oh, yeah. and cold, but it's warm in the shop. It's a great day to build an engine. So, next thing's next is we're gonna dump motor oil all over it, put our coolant jacket seals in here, and uh, start placing the rotors. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> Alrighty, so now we're just gonna skip to a time lapse uh, to make this go a little faster. So, we got the front rotor prepped with the new water jacket seals and put the first rotor on and the e-shaft uh, used the trick of using an old oil control ring to uh, hold the apex seals in place um, the control ring snapped the first time we used it because it was really ancient and gross um, so we tried it again and that's what you're seeing now i'm getting all the apex seals in their places um, we had a few friends pop by while we were building this engine they were just curious never seen a rotary built before and so they were asking all sorts of questions and I'm always one to explain uh, what's going on and why why it works. Um, we got the, the housing on and now we're getting the mid plate down. We're having a little bit of trouble with that first one. I didn't really want to set, but uh, we ended up that the, the apex seals weren't causing an issue. It was just a little bit of misalignment. So now we're putting the, the next water jacket seals down. I was... Uh, using a little bit of uh, Vaseline to hold them in place. Um, now I'm prepping the second rotor with the old oil control ring wrapped around the rotor itself. That way I can slide the apex seals and all the springs in there and it kind of holds everything in a little tight package. And there you can see uh, my buddy getting everything all nice and make sure it's all in place once we're getting the little springs in place. Our friends brought us some coffee while we were doing the build, so that was really nice of them. And then yeah, as you're sliding that next rotor housing down, right when you get down to the last bit of it, you clip that oil control ring and it goes flying and then everything seats down in there very, very nicely. Now we're getting the, the rear plate on. Uh, I forgot to put the uh, oil pressure regulator on before that plate, so we're fumbling around trying to get it tightened. There it goes. Bro, they're in the Marmon right now. Oh! Marmon it's, it's not going to catch that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now it's not time to walk in front of it. <laughs> get, get back over here, Julian. I have more cars to show you. Okay, I'm coming around. So now we're getting all the tension bolts in place to uh, tighten down the sandwich. All uh, 18 of them. It's a, just an interesting thing about the rotaries is how they're all held together with foot and a half long bolts and uh, so many of them so uh, there is a specific sequence to tightening them down um, I don't know it by heart yet so uh, what I usually do is I scribe on the tops of the head with a sharpie um, the order in which tightening them down so I, I tighten them down with just a regular ratchet to get them a little bit snug and then I got my torque wrench out and started torquing them um, little bits at a time until they were all torqued to their spec. So now I'm assembling the front stack, um, put my gasket on. Um, the front stack consists of some needle bearings, a, a spacer, an end play spacer, um, the oil pump, an oil chain, um, and the distributor gear. Uh, we're getting ready to go back in the truck. 
uh, with the engine all put together and it it spun over just fine and had all chuffs on every single side of the rotors so I was having a little bit of trouble getting the transmission lined up my uh, clutch alignment tool that I got from O'Reilly's was the wrong one, so I was I was fiddling with that pretty good. Uh, and then I had I called the friends back over, and they uh, were much much help trying to get everything lined up and everything. I uh, I've put in this engine in the truck so many times that it's it's like just memory now. Um, it's a little bit of a magic trick because of how long the the transmission is and how short the engine bay is so it you gotta kind of gotta finagle it little bits at a time little bits at a time changing the angle of the engine as it slides into place and i mounted the engine pretty much right at the center line of the front wheels so it's actually positioned further back than the, the four cylinder engine was which will be really good for handling um, but the truck has torsion bar front suspension so not the best. Then I was getting the exhaust on and everything else under the truck and the drive shaft, and as you can see me fondling around in the truck. What you doing? Well, putting the truck on the ground. Uh, the engine's in the truck. The exhaust is on the truck. The drive shaft's on the truck. So. Working like a madman to get everything done, bolt it on tonight. So that's. So that we can move the truck tomorrow. Cause I don't even know what time it is anymore. Like 10. It's been a long day. I've been here all day. You've been here for 12 hours. Yeah, 13 hours now. And you probably had like a small lunch window, or did you just bring him food? I just brought him food. My God. <laughs> yeah, I haven't left. Wow. I haven't left at all. Hey, check this out. Get that chain off. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. It is Bottom. put back together for now. Um, we're gonna put this project on hold while we move everything else, but this is beautiful. This still needs work, though it's in here and I have all my hardware accounted for and this is the best place to store it for right now. So that's why I have everything all taped up. That'll need to come back off and get cleaned and finished. and. And yeah, and bumper, it's been weird seeing the truck with headlights again. So, but got the bed cleaned out, interiors back together. I know I already have boxes in here. You know, shifter, ugh, yes, that's the FC transmission. So, yeah, that's... That is a wrap. Hello. Hey. <laughs> That's a wrap. Mazda so, zoom zoom. Yes, this Mazda will go zoom zoom once again. Let's go home and go to bed, bud. Yeah, let's go to bed. All right. Till next time with uh, the little blue project. RX 2200. It'll be all in a new place. We're leaving this place finally. So. Don't get too close to it.